Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here with OsaTennis360.com and if you're looking for a smoother forehand because you want more power because it feels really nice, prevent injury, or just because you want to look better on the court, then this is the video for you because we're going to break down how you can do this. Now the first concept that we got to talk about is this idea of the figure eight. So if you picture figure eight for a second or infinity, it's smooth, it's continuous, and a wonderful thing to model. So first thing we're going to do is look at the hips because every stroke starts from the center of your body and it radiates out towards the racket. So what I'm going to do is give you my absolute best impression of a good dancer here. Okay. So as I move my hips, you're going to notice, and this is, this is as good as it gets here, unfortunately with the dancing, but the hips, kind of slide around this figure eight. This is a concept I learned from Tim Schneibley, uh, who was the coach of Sam Query. So we want the center of our body to kind of start moving in this figure eight shape. Okay, so this gives us a continuum for our rhythm, okay, in our stroke. The next concept of the figure eight we're gonna look at is the hands, okay? So if we look at the forehand, for example, got our hands up here in a typical forehand, we'll start with a little rise up into the hit, hand drops down if we're hitting top spin or even if we're hitting flat and then it'll finish nice and high. Okay. So every version of the forehand is going to have some element to this figure eight. If you look at the pros. So again, the hands start up, they drop down, they rise up into the hit and then they finish and then the finish just sort of disappears. Okay. So this idea of the figure eight. So we pick up the racket. It's the same concept. So now we've got the hips and the hands moving in this figure eight shape. So the hips start the stroke, hands rise up behind, hips pull through, and that's when you get that little racket lag that everyone's talking about. So the hips start the stroke, hands trail, and then come through. So this is the concept of the stroke that we're going to look at as we practice this together. Okay, so this idea of the figure eight, starting with the hips and then the hands just trailing behind ever so slightly. So now let me show you how to practice this. All right, so we're here with the trusty Billie Jean King Eye Coach. By far the best way to practice this stuff and the best news is you can do it from home. So what I'm gonna do is line up my body so that I'm at a nice comfortable contact point uh, to the device. Now, if you're doing this at home and you don't have an eye coach, that's okay. You can do this sort of as a shadow swing and imagine it. But at some point, if you're serious about developing this in the fastest way possible, you want to get one of these puppies and I'll leave a promo code down below. So I've got my arm going out at about a 45 degree angle to the court. That's a whole nother video. But basically here we are, we're at a comfortable distance between us and the ball. And now we're going to start the stroke. So the hips begin the stroke. The hands lag behind and then we hold the finish. Okay, so we do that again. Hips start the stroke and we go in this figure eight shape and then we hold the finish. So you can see this is already starting to look pretty smooth and this is a great way to do this. So here we go again. Hips start the stroke, nice and smooth. And obviously as you're going through these strokes, if you're doing a shadow swing or if you're on the eye coach, you wanna make sure you're nice and loose here. That's gonna allow everything to work better. Okay, so nice and smooth, just like that. Okay, so after we've done about 10 of those reps and you feel comfortable with it, we'll go to the next step. What we want to do now is now we know how to hit the ball with that figure eight shape we just talked about together. Next thing we want to do is know when to hit the ball. So I'm going to give the eye coach a little tap and I'm going to time that figure eight stroke with right as the ball's passing over the center bar here. So here we go just like that and hold the finish. So again, this is all happening with that figure eight stroke. Here we go again. And that's really nice and smooth. Let's do it one more time. Tap a Rooney and boom. So now we've got the feel of an incoming ball and timing that stroke. Again, we can do all of this from home with the eye coach. Now the next thing we got to do is see if we can have some continuous repetitions. So I'm going to do is hit the eye coach. It's going to go out. It's going to come back. It's going to go out again. It's going to come back. And then we're going to hit the ball. And this is where we use the timing of our uh, figure eight stroke to, uh, to get our rhythm. Okay. So here we go. 45 degree angle towards the ball. Figure eight, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one. So now I'm just following that figure eight shape. 
with my hips, hands trailing behind, and we got a nice smooth stroke here. This feels really nice and easy. Loosey goosey. All right, one more and kapoom. Okay, so that's how you would do that. Now we got to get ready for the speed of the ball that's going to be coming at us, right? So that is a three count. Same idea on the eye coach. We get the thing going. Figure eight. One, two, three. One, two. And now you've got a sort of a concept for how your body's moving. And now you're just negotiating the whole time and space thing. And you're just thinking about when to hit the ball. So your stroke is memorized. We've got our figure eight shape. Oh, that was a shankopotamus. <laughs> and boom. So that's all there is to it when it comes to getting your forehand to be smoother. Now, we gotta add some movement to this thing, right? Because the ball's not gonna come to us. And this is the beauty part of the device in this sort of process. So now we know how to hit. We know when to hit. Now we just need to get to the ball and hit it. Okay, so we're gonna use a little bit of footwork here. And again, trust the stroke that we just developed. So let's do that. So we start out away from the device. We'll start on a six count. One, two, three, four, five. 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 So you can see that looks pretty smooth. I'm not Federer, but you can hit the ball like Federer at your level, which is pretty cool. All right, so we've got the stroke memorized on the eye coach. Now we bring out the trusty drop feed, okay? So I'm gonna just drop a ball to myself trust the stroke that we just practiced and now we're just going to think about getting to the ball and hitting it so there we go here we go again we've got that nice figure eight shape smooth as a baby's bottom all right here we go so you can see that figure eight shape kind of coming through in the hips and then out towards the hand now what we do, if I can bribe my uh, lovely assistant here to feed me a ball, I can show you how to do this on a live feed. Or if you got a ball machine, works just the same. So again, we know how to hit, we know when to hit. Now all we have to do is get to the ball and hit it. And that's what uh, uh, we're gonna work on here. So go ahead, here we go. And here we go again. So we rise up into the hit with our little figure eight shape there. Let the hips pull through and let the hand just trail behind. Here we go. Let's go two more. And it doesn't matter if you get a low ball, you've got this idea of the figure eight. It's gonna allow you to change the shape of that figure eight slightly, depending on if you want a flatter ball or if you want, uh, if you want top spin. All right, now obviously one of the keys to this whole thing is getting to the ball so that we have time to be smooth. And if you'd like to know how you can get two steps faster to literally any single ball, no matter what your age is, no matter what your level of fitness is, I've got a free video for you you can download below that'll show you exactly how to do that. Again, this is not about becoming faster, it's just about doing things in a very certain order. So go ahead and click the button down below and opt in for that free video. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching this video. I had a great time making it for you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments and uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss next week's video. Bye.